Hey there, welcome to Oman Runner. Today I'm going to talk about running caps. First I'm going to discuss what I look for when I buy a running cap, then Quinn and I are going to model them, and finally I'm going to make a recommendation. I'm making this video because I have a lot of caps and I thought I should review them and try and do it in one go. I made a previous video that I really enjoyed out running with just testing a few, but in this one, there's a lot. So apologies for the length. There'll be chapter markers below so you can skip through to the ones you wanna see. I've been wearing a cap pretty much in every run for a few years now to keep out the sun, keep the sweat from my eyes, keep the rain off the glasses, and also keep glare from the city lights from my eyes so that when I'm running and I'm looking down, uh, my eyes adjust more to the ground. I found that to be really good. I've also been known in winter time to, uh, to wear a cap, uh, as in this on running cap, and then wear a beanie over it, as in this on running beanie. <laughs> I, I do this regularly in winter time, uh, why no one has come up with uh, an integrated beanie cum cap, I don't know, but this keeps the glare out of my eyes, the rain off my glasses, and keeps the old ears warm. The things I look for in a cap, and you'll see it as I demonstrate some of these, I want it to be comfortable, obviously. Ease of adjustment is really important, and really ease of adjustment when I'm running. It's very easy to adjust it here in the house, but when you're out running, particularly when it's windy and you're trying to fiddle around the back of your head, that's really important, and some of these caps are better than others. Uh, I like to have some reflectivity. It varies, because sometimes you might be running in the day. I particularly like a longer bill, and I don't know <laughs> my age. I don't really go for the flat ones. I like to be able to curve it. Obviously, in summertime, you're looking for ventilation, and then I want it to be a, a good size to fit my big buggy head, as it has been described by uh, my coworker. Uh, accurately, I think. Um, I don't have a ponytail, as you can obviously see, but you'll see the images from the back and you'll see how the back of the caps work and you can probably figure out yourself how a ponytail might work. Enough of the intro, let's make a head start on this. I have three sprint running hats in unisex. These are the Tropical Jaguars. They make lots of interesting colors and uh, most of my hats are plain colors apart from these ones, which I really do like. Um, medium weight or on the light end of it, 45 grams, 1.6 zero ounces and it's 32 dollars in the united states you can get some of them you get cheaper um i have got them cheaper in in store on occasion i think i bought one for 28 bucks somewhere this one is the uh, jungle beer jags uh, which i wear this hat if i'm going out uh, running and then going out afterwards i often wear this hat kind of gets me in the new mood or on a long easy day sometimes i wear this kind of hat to uh, I don't know, I feel good. This is a Chicago hat, sold out, I think, in three hours at the Chicago Marathon. Lovely hat. Um, I also have uh, a Chicago t-shirt by Tracksmith and uh, some Chicago socks by um, Features. So a kind of set, I don't wear it very often because I'm trying to keep it in, in really good shape. But a hat, I like the look of. Here I am uh, turning it over and you can see the inside brim to, or the inside to take the, the sweat. This is very tricky. The back is Velcro, uh, two sides are free and it's very hard to adjust when you're on the run, which is one of the only criticisms I have of the hat. That and the fact that it runs a little small on my head. Sprints also make a five panel hat, which I think is a bit bigger and has a plastic clasp on the back. So if you uh, are big headed like me uh, or you, uh, want to the more security of the class with the back do that i'm putting a light through here so you can see there's ventilation slots kind of to the side and again there's more i think on the larger hat this is the soar running run cap 3.0 i have this in two colors i have it in a fluoro yellow and i also have it in an orange which will be coming up it's the lightest cap i have at 23 grams or 0.8 ounces it's ventilated at the sides it's Expensive at 40 euro 95. I bought it online with Soren. They have lots of different deals depending on where you are. Um, this is the class with the back, but it's uh, this is the fluoro yellow color. I also had the two previous versions one was mustard and one's a sort of checkerboard. They look great on the model, they look great on Quinn, they look great on the models that are uh, on the Soren website. It's just they don't look great on me, um, which is the, the big disadvantage. The the uh, this is the, the brow pops up on these. It does on a couple of my hats. Again, like the uh, like the Sprints hat, I find this runs a little small. In saving the weight, I guess um, Soar made pretty much everything as thin as they could. Uh, this is probably a little bit bigger than the previous version, but for me, it's just a little bit too small. But uh, on Quinn here, it, it looks fantastic. And again, the, the 
brim flips up if you're running a pills. This is it, me uh, going through it. You can see some ventilation holes at the side. Again, it, it goes inside out really easily. The clasp, uh, unusually for such a lightweight ha uh, hat, the clasp is pretty heavy duty. It works brilliantly. I mean, that is my favorite clasp of all the running hats I've got. Very easy to tighten. Here I am with the light in it and you can see the holes for ventilation at the side. A great summer running hat. Um, not one for winter and I'm picking up here in, in orange. The orange has got obviously the gray bill so it's a bit different. The, the bill feels pretty flimsy. It's um, almost feels like it's made of cardboard but uh, yeah it's a lightweight hat. If you're looking for a lightweight hat go for one of these. Or the buff, this is the Pro Team Ape X. I ran two marathons in this particular hat. Black, again it flips up so if you're running a pill it's very good. It's 32 grams so near the, the sore in 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 terms of its weight 1.13 ounces i got this on amazon you can get i got a, there's another co color coming up it's not particularly expensive 31 euro 11 like the sore hat it also has a, a sort of pull kind of tab very again it's very easy to adjust when you're on the run um i'm not a great fan of uh overt logos etc but for some reason i like the buff ones i mean they're huge i mean it's buff writ large this is a sort of gray i'm not sure exactly what color this is called the lovely buff uh it's unmistakable when you run along in this and a very nice hat to run in in warm weather it absorbs a lot of moisture so it's very squishable very packable um so if you're going on a very long run and you, you thought it'd get too much moisture you can always pack another one but a really nicely shaped hat uh, i think you can see it here on quinn and uh yeah, one I, one I particularly like, as I said, I ran in, uh, two marathons in the first one, and here it is, I'm gonna show it in detail. Um, this is the, the black version, and uh, it's very stretchy. I mean, you'll, I'll, I'll pull it here, I'm adjusting the back. It's a sort of that pull, pull tab kind of thing, and it works really well, uh, very secure. You can see me scrunching it up, and um, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty nice hat. The, um, I prefer the other color as it happens. The, um, for a hat that's, that's compressible, actually when the, the bill pops up it's very uh it, it, it it's very secure it doesn't doesn't bounce down here you can see me shining a light through there aren't holes as such but at the side the uh, material is thinner so you can get uh, ventilation through it and here i am with the uh, i suppose it's a gray color uh, with the large orange uh, buff logo writ large again a hat that i particularly like this is the under armor launch armor vent hat uh, under Armour have these coming and going in different types all the time. Uh, this one's in white, I have it in blue. The medium weight hat at 53 grams or 1.87 ounces. And it costs, this one cost me 26 euro, but it's the cheapest hat you can find. You can get, I think I got the blue one, which is coming up now. Yeah, I got it for a lot cheaper, 17 euro and 97. Um, I like the blue and I like the, the white. Um, it's got a reflectivity on the sides. It's also got the logo on the front is reflective and the stripe down the back that you can see here is reflective. I made a video about reflectivity in the dark with lights and ran away into the distance and you can see this for quite some way. Very comfortable cap. Here, me, here I am with the white one, the stripe in the back. I like the curved bill, very nice uh, sweat lining in it. And this is the piece that I like the most about it. It's very easy to adjust the Velcro. Um, it's very easy to adjust on the fly when I'm running along. And um, again, if you look through with the light, it's actually at the back that there's a couple of holes that allow much more ventilation right in the rear of the hat. You can kind of see it if you look closely there. Um, but again, I also have this in blue, but it's available. I, I checked out this week and it's still available inexpensively. There's lots of sales on different types of ones on the Under Armour site and lots of choice of colors. This is the on-running lightweight cap. I was running that this evening. Uh, a cap I really like. Um, it's not lightweight, it's 55 grams. It's about medium, 1.94 ounces. It's expensive, it varies. About 40 bucks, 40 euro thereabouts. Um, comes with the, the cap or the clasp at the back. It's got ventilated sides, a bit of reflective detailing with the on at the front. I also have it in this navy color. I wanted for ages to get it in. There's a kind of orangey red that they had on the site for at least a year I was hoping to get and then it turns out they it just vanished. I don't know, it, it just looked a fantastic color. But anyway, it's available in a couple of different colors. I think there's a different kind of blue. You can see here the, the holes for ventilation with Quinn's head, you can see it popping through. Here I am moving it around. It's got that plastic clasp at the back and then the um, it, it tucks in into the side so that there isn't a piece flapping of excess uh, fabric. But that's hard to adjust on the go. I, there's the, the piece I've pulled out. I often run on this in, in, in wind and it's it's hard to adjust on the go so you you can kind of pull it tight okay but to make it go loose it's it's a bit of a faff 
but if it was a, a non-windy day it's super brilliantly ventilated at the side uh, the bill has a lot of structure to it so uh, this would be a hat I particularly like hence I suppose I bought it in two colors this one being the navy I prefer the the, the gray one this is a kind of similar hat in some ways this is the Janji Transit Tech Cap 2.0 it it connects in the same way wonderful hat this hat has a unique trick which I'll show in a second it's 63 grams or 2.2 ounces not lightweight it's super comfortable to put on. I mean, it really stretches really nicely, fits on your head. I wore this in the Buckeye Marathon, but it has a uh, unique feature, which is a zipped pocket in the hat. You can see also here, here I am adjusting the same clasp, like the on-running clasp, and it's got a thick um, edge to it to catch the sweat. So it really works really well from that point of view. And um, yeah, a hat that I found super comfortable I'd like, i'm not sure how many colors it comes and goes here i am opening it up it takes a couple of credit cards which i ran in on the book i marathon uh, i think at the hotel room key which you didn't, didn't need to bring and a visa card which i mean what was i going to buy midway through a marathon in the middle of nowhere but anyway <laughs> just in case i'm the cautious type and here i am taking it out i mean i think i've used an arm card that i had and uh, yeah i think this is a really great hat i hope it comes back in a whole load of different colors and i'll probably buy a few different ones really super comfortable to wear this is the ProVis Reflect 360 in reflective silver. I think everyone should have one of these. It's fantastic. It doesn't pick it up here with, with, with Quinn, but it's reflective. So if car shines a headlight on you at night, it really does light up. It's heavy at 73 grams, 2.57 ounces, and cost me about 35 euro in the run hub in Dublin. But it's a cap that I really recommend to everyone to have something in winter like this it really does light up and when there's a car coming with, with headlights it's got a yellow clasp a yellow fabric and a, a sort of metal clasp hard to adjust again but usually when i'm running in winter time i put it on and uh, it's fine it's got a very um rigid bill at the front some of the um uh, reflective detailing uh, falls off a little at the front i think it's hard to make that reflective material in a, in a flexible fabric but uh, a really super hat i think um as i said earlier i think everyone should have one of these hats i'd be i i'd, I'd buy another one if this one if i lost this one i'd buy it immediately you can see it's quite vented here uh, again with the light shining through it so uh, yeah i think this is an essential hat to get yeah i think uh, This is the Lululemon Fast and Free Run hat, M. It's in gold spice, a color that seems to be more popular uh, lately. It's a medium weight hat, 51 grams, 1.8 ounces, and it cost me 45 euro from Lululemon. Beautifully made hat, a uh, very nice shape. The bill is, is fairly rigid on it. I really love the color. Um, the fabrics are beautiful. It's got a thick, um, you'll see it here, a thick sweatband inside really really nice hat some nice reflective detail and a wonderful clasp at the back it really is nice thick velcro they haven't cheaped out on it at all and uh, yeah it's available in loads of different colors you can see here it's it there aren't very many holes for for transparency or ventilation but a super comfortable cap that i'm really glad that i bought this is the i'm not sure how to pronounce it properly the sealer tky cap sc tokyo um the bib of this actually flicks up i haven't got quinn doing it here but it flips up very nicely there's a tiny picture at the end if you stop it you'll see um but it's a it's a cap i like very well ventilated this was expensive at 36 pounds and it's heavy at 74 grams it's a special edition there's ventilation down the the middle and the sides uh, again it's got the same sort of clasp as some of the other hats the janji and the on running hat uh, everything's a bit thicker but it's nice and flexible super comfortable and uh, available in a couple of different uh, special editions but um, it's big it's a big hat on my head this is the last hat the boko gear women's run flagstaff retro tech trucker in plum I only realized when I was making this video, this is the women's model, but not that it bothered me. Uh, I, I, it fits me perfectly. In fact, I can go, I could probably have a bit bigger head and still fit. It's 56 grams or two ounces, cost me $30. Um, I really like it. I bought it to make a Forrest Gump video. I'm not a great fan of, of, of flat brims generally, but I, I wanted to get one. This one is super ventilated. I don't like that clasp at the back. It's kind of cheap plasticky, like a like a bargain basement baseball hat. Other than that, it's really nice. The logo at the front is it's really nicely made, nice, nicely stitched, and uh, you can see how ventilated this hat. There's no hat that I have that's more ventilated than this. 
Picking a favorite is easy. It's this one, the Under Armour Vent Cap. It's uh, inexpensive, it's got a good sweat band. I love the bill, I love the reflectivity, but the single most important reason I like it is it's very easy to adjust on the move. Um, you can just pull off the Velcro and pull it tight. I run on a lot of windy conditions and I'm never afraid this is gonna blow off my head. And if I adjust it really tight, when I get back to where it's less windy, I can unadjust it or loosen it so that it's not giving me a headache unlike some of the other caps that I have to kind of stop and fiddle around with. So yeah, this is my favorite cap. I'll be running in it in a Zurich Marathon. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, it'd be great if you hit the like button. As always, there'd be lots of stuff down in the description below and I'll happily answer anything that you put into the comments. There'll be a big blue subscribe button popping up there and some red videos there. Thanks for watching. Until the next video, just keep running along. I'm also gonna to learn to talk without moving my lips.